welcome to CMS. This is a short version of the CMS demo. First we log in using an admin account. Please note that CMS uses Microsoft Outlook to authenticate the login process. CMS provides multiple company logins, so next we select the organization. Home screens can be set up using widgets and color schemes. There is no limitation to the number of widgets or their complexity as shown here in the Accountancy Management home screen. Users can set individual skins depending upon privileges. Or the business may only want the company default skin as standard. Viewers will note many references to students and education in general. Reason being that the business for which CMS has been currently structured is for an academic organization. However, with powerful modular based processes, CMS can be easily and quickly restructured to almost any business type. With that in mind, the next part of the demo will focus on creating a new lead, the lead becoming a student, the student then being enrolled on a course. We will begin by opening the lead generation form. A lead by the name of Alan Glynn has already been created so we can perform a simple search. Now we can open the lead form. We can click enroll and generate the student number. We will not enroll his biometrics at this stage and move on to booking the student on a course. We can select a course, one starting in January 2013. This particular course has only one module and we can add the value of the course here. The system automatically generates course booking and welcome letters. Let's have a look at the course booking confirmation. We can also view other information with reference to the student including a general overview whether the student is an international student and whether he is progressing to university. By clicking the advanced tab we can view items such as his attendance history, assessments, financial transactions for fees, materials and any external payments for example exam bookings. We can also see if the student's fees are via a student loan and whether he has any payment plans. Students also get access to the information online using CMS's WebLearn interactive portal. The previous part of the demo included a detailed description of progressing a lead to an enrolled student scheduled on a course. It is anticipated that viewers will now have a good opportunity to appreciate the intricate functionality available within CMS. The next part of the demonstration provides a quick overview of the modules. The CMS general layout includes a home button which provides access to all the modules. The user login information includes company type, 
CMS is a multi-company product and users may have access rights to more than one entity. Multiple modules can be opened simultaneously. Each can be closed from the neat left-hand vertical bar. Widgets were introduced recently and can be adapted to represent any of the thousands of data fields within CMS. The two widgets shown above provide the user with quick access to leads and the second widget is further divided into three by way of tabs, showing the overview, my status and courses. CMS has quick access links to the most used modules including instant chat, office notes, system message alerts, document search and task console amongst others. CMS is accessed via the use of barcode ID cards and fingerprint recognition. Student attendance is monitored using data collected from the attendance units and staff payroll is automatically calculated using this technology. Library management uses barcodes created within CMS to track its publications. Settings are specific and industry standard using ISBN codes. Students, trainers and staff can be provided privileges to borrow books. Items can be reserved and transferred between one location to another. Automatic emails are sent as reminders to return books, find reminders and reserve book availability. The Consumer Affairs module is used as a generic term for this module which provides the Integrated Management Resource Centre for items such as student complaints, contact and company issues. As with all modules, access and management permissions are set specific to individuals. The Consumer Affairs Desk can view the issues in the top left-hand window and can decide to activate or deal offline. Once activated, the specific issue is managed to its ultimate resolved state using the Integrated Task Manager module and the Meetings module. Student agencies are businesses who recruit students on behalf of the Academy. In order to track students, the agencies prefer to correspond by means of email. Therefore, automated emails collect the email address provided by the recruiter to engage in communication. Student agencies are set up within the company module of CMS and are categorized as recruiter. The Meetings Arrangement menu provides the facility for the user to arrange the meeting on behalf of another user, to include an agenda, to invite internal and external contacts as listed within the contacts module, to auto tag the module where the meeting arrangement was initiated, to add various other notes and attachments. The recipients will receive a desktop notification if they are users of the system as well as email reminders. The Meetings Home section provides the user with all the meetings they have been involved in, including if they were invitees or chairing the meetings. Users can view agendas, minutes, lists of invitees and those who attended. Within the current CMS academic setup, the Recruitment module provides integrated functionality for placing students into employment. The Recruitment Home provides an interface showing current vacancies, current candidates, internal or external, and interviews. From within the candidate form, CVs can be uploaded, covering letters can be added, interview dates are viewable, candidates can be allocated to interviews. The Vocational Training module is one of the more complex modules within CMS. It uses a number of modules to interact with each other in order to ensure that not only is the training delivered correctly, but that the various entities are catered for accordingly. One such entity would be a funding stream. This entity is the organisation which is responsible for the funding of a government initiative to provide part funding for the training. The modules and entities seamlessly integrated within the vocational training module are company, contact, meeting, candidates, funding streams, course planners, task manager, internal and external verifiers and awarding bodies amongst many others. The financial information for students is integrated through the general ledger, the processing of which is controlled within the business finance and accountancy modules. All the monetary information is initially managed within each student record. The Academy was involved with the education of international students. With this student type, two main sections exist to manage finances, an advance fee and financial transactions in general. Both categories are interlinked as well as being further divided. The 
Victoria representation shows the current configuration workflow of CMS Student Financials. The CMS WebLearn is the web portal within the CMS Web Network. There are three main modules within the network with the first module divided into three parts – students, trainers and the academy. The other two modules are lead enrollment and recruiter portal. These are platforms which allow collaboration between the various entities using the web. For example, students are able to view their course information, attendance history, fees, balances and receipts. They can also join virtual classrooms as discussed later, download and upload assignments, the portals also include academy and personal notice boards. The virtual classroom environment integrates with various modules within CMS to provide a seamless, excellent learning portal from anywhere and at any time. Classes are pre-scheduled from within the student course planner. Students and trainers then access the sessions through CMS's WebLearn portal. Sessions can be recorded and used as libraries for future classes. The latest collaboration tools provide both the student and trainer with management, accessibility and control. The Asset Management Module Home provides information of assets which exist in various locations, including a breakdown of the sub-location of the asset. For example, a PC is allocated as an asset to head office and being used in Classroom 1. Assets can be transferred between locations using the Transfer Asset option. Asset depreciation is built into the module. A submenu provides the user the ability to manage repairs. Once a repaired item has been returned, then the user can choose to allocate the unit to original location, storage or set as destroy. The destroy option will write off the unit. All items use barcoding for tracking. The reports menu provides a central reserve of all reports. Users can search by module, department or by actual name. The history section displays information as to who viewed a specific report with date and time stamp. An integrated feature is the ability to send real-time reports to multiple recipients at specific pre-scheduled times during the day. Reports are attached to emails and can be dispatched to internal users as well as external contacts. Company information includes its employees and whether they are primary contacts, company notes and a non-editable time and date stamped history. Categories provide the necessary filtering required when accessing specific companies from other integrated modules. At the time of creating a new entry, the user selects whether the entry shall be a business, i.e. a station supplier or a sales lead. As with other modules, Contacts provides an integrated mechanism. Contacts can be assigned roles as employees, trainers, associates of other companies. Contacts can be corporate students, as in the case of vocational training receivers. A number of tabs appear within the contact form which provide integration with modules such as vocational training where skills information is required. Subforms include candidate information, competency, CPD, training delivery locations, qualifications and work contracts. The Incident Management module is a central reserve to manage incidents within an organisation and all its affiliated sub-locations. Initially developed as a health and safety recording module, the module has been enhanced to manage unlimited events, for example, staff student accidents, site maintenance issues, first aid, emergency services call outs. Once incidents are raised, the appropriate manager is notified and the management of the event is processed from within the module. The module uses the integrated task manager, user notification center, and meetings module to manage the incident. As with all modules within CMS, the settings for each module are provided within its home mode. The Home Resources module is a comprehensive integrated multiple component management application. The heart of its functionality is the use of data collected from the barcode and biometric devices used for scanning staff attendance. Subforms within HR include appraisals, awards, contracts, contractual hours, CPD, grievance, groups, next of kin, personal information, probation, references, salary, security, warnings and SAGE information. Subforms within HR include commissions divided into two main sections, client-based commission and revenue-based commission. The information is linked to the business payroll module. In ICT management, the module provides a platform to manage issues with user and business equipment and application support. Reported issues are automatically provided with ITS reference numbers. 
All outstanding items appear in the pending items form from where the senior resources can allocate and reallocate tasks to increase efficiency and decrease downtimes. The Academy had multiple locations around the world and various documents were revised due to one reason or another. Keeping track of documents and handouts became a serious problem in terms of control, accountability and waste of materials already printed. This module provides the latest published document library. Materials can be printed from within the module. Documents, i.e. materials, sets of documents, can be checked in, checked out, published, unpublished, i.e. withdrawn or discarded. Specific selected users, departments are notified by email about all changes. With multiple locations around the world, complemented with hundreds of users, the Academy found that local hard drives in users' PCs and those on the local network were quickly reaching capacity. Further problems consisted of the inability to locate documents effectively and the duplication of the same document in multiple locations. In order to streamline the management of general use documents, the file storage module was created. Items are added to the library and security permissions ensure that documents remain confidential. Documents are stored in a central reserve with disaster recovery infrastructure management saving space on local resources, providing quick search and collect of the document and minimizing wastage of time and resources on searching for materials. Using powerful tools within CMS made the users at the Academy realize that the tasks they had to perform and tasks which were assigned to them were becoming time consuming to manage due to reasons such as whether the task owner was waiting a reply, whether a reply had been received from the task assigned, whether critical updates were actually being read. In order to overcome such problems, a powerful robust module was created which uses color coding and the CMS notifications application to alert users. Next we move on to the project management module, which was developed by the Academy to manage internal projects. An unlimited number of resources can be allocated and assigned tasks using the integrated task management module. It uses other modules for seamless collaboration, task management, meetings, notification application, human resources, pre-approved discussions application. Once a project is approved, each resource has access to the management menu of the project. The module can be used for projects such as creating of new course materials, planning of new facilities and organization of company events. The stock management comprises of two stock rooms. The first is for general stock, i.e. tables, chairs, projectors, computers, etc. The second room manages items related specifically to students, such as books, learning aids, such as headphones. The stock rooms are integrated within the business finance infrastructure and take advantage of barcode technology to track items. Items can be transferred from one location to another and made into assets or library resources and can be wasted or destroyed. A minimum stock setting against each item ensures that stock managers are alerted when stocks reach limits. Business Finance and Accountancy Management A fully integrated general ledger based environment, the finances of the Academy are migrated within these two modules. The finance management tools are arranged as two separate interfaces in order to provide the departmental levels of platform security. The Business Finance interface provides users with access to receivables, purchases, invoicing and payments. The higher tier, Accountancy, provides the users with all the business finance elements as listed above as well as module security settings, bank reconciliations, interbank transfers, income statements, payment disbursements, journal management, loan management and payroll. Current workflow for purchasing within the business finance module is arranged so that the user can select from the type of purchase for example, agent commission, credit purchase, cash purchase, petty cash, services, for example utility provision, or expense claims. Users can select whether to select a new blank template or repeat an order. Once a line manager has approved, the finance department verify the order by linking the items on the form to GL codes. Once the goods arrive, the stock controller produces the barcodes from within CMS and scans the items into stock. The payment of the purchase orders is then escalated to the business finance users who are able to generate approval requests and issue payments. The payroll application uses the automated attendance, contractual hours and salary data to provide a robust personnel remuneration portal. 
pay override integration compensate gives the paymaster the ability to amend the final payment by adding or deducting money. Automated integration of commission earnings for sales personnel saves vast amounts of time and effort calculating accurate information. Data is set out for immediate print to standard payslip formats and can also be exported with a single click to Sage and Excel. Selling business products within CMS The Academy developed CMS for internal use. It was quickly recognized as an ERP that could benefit millions of clients worldwide. CMS includes a sales application. The main management of the sale is within the company module. Once a company is registered as a buyer, then a sales tracker form appears. The sales quotation generation form is created by adding services and CMS modules. Options are provided for initial fee payments, monthly and or annually. Quotations are generated from within the company module along with converting the quotations to sales orders. The actual converting sales orders to invoices is implemented from within the business finance module, specifically through its sales sub-application. The system generates invoices and statements which can be emailed directly to the buyer from within CMS. Payments received are also managed from within the sales order system. Security using CMS administration. Access to modules is arranged by group policies. Settings allow divisions for each policy by screen, field, procedure and report permissions. Each user is then allocated rights to specific groups. If the user is a group leader of other users, then those users are added within the group manager section. Users can be allocated the company default skin or a choice of skins are available. Users can also be provided with their home screen, the module that will appear as their opening screen. The CMS Command Center is partially developed and was prepared to provide enhanced security for CMS. Functional items include user's current attendance status, the user's barcode scan activity, the user's current active modules, desktop capturing, random or timed, and users can be forcefully logged off. Multiple reports are available including visited modules, activity reports, snooze message reports, and unauthorized access. The command center is the highest level of user security within CMS. Thank you for watching. For further information, please contact the Application Development Academy Limited or visit our website tadacademy.com.